Have you ever wished being productive was a little more exciting? It's no secret that we do our best work while we're having fun. So what if you could reach maximum productivity by hacking your mind to enjoy everything that you do? My name is Conrad and I'm a creator that loves to share and co-create with my community whenever I come up with cool new ways to solve everyday challenges. My biggest frustration with most task managers and habit trackers is that after a while, the backlog builds up and it almost feels like a chore to go in and check off completed items. It's just not engaging. So last November, I set out to change that once and for all. I'd like to introduce the Gamification Project. It's a huge collaborative project that was built from our friends, family, and community to motivate us to live our best life and inspire a global movement. It was delivered with one mission in mind, make work fun so we get stuff done. It's been an amazing journey finding like-minded forward thinkers who share a common passion of relentless productivity, growth, and learning, and I'm proud to share that our COEX3 community is now 300 members strong and thousands of people globally have joined us on the journey of turning our lives into an RPG. Of course, there have been great applications out there that's already been attempting to gamify habits, goals, and achievements, but I always found that they had a lot of constraints when it came to the reality of the work we need to accomplish on a day-by-day -day basis. Thus, I set out to build my own application on top of the all-in-one productivity tool Notion, where everyone can have full control over the customization, enabling features to be added and shared at any time. So in this video, I'm going to give you a brief of the features we've built so far and walk you through how you can get started for free so you can turn your workspace into a highly functional system that motivates you to complete tasks on time, build visual processes and workflows that help you organize your life and build strong habits, and finally, embark on a growth journey supported by a network of friends, family, and community. Watch till the end to learn what's coming up next for our exciting project, and I hope you enjoy. Go to notion.conradlin.com forward slash make work fun, and then click this button. After submitting your email, you'll be sent to this page where you will find a preview of what you can expect from the gamification project. Let's run through these quickly as we'll go more in depth about how each feature works during the walkthrough. So let's scroll down. The first section you'll notice is that using our templates, you can completely theme your workspace to be fully immersed in your favorite fantasy world. And you can draw inspiration from our community submitted theme library, where our members have taken the care to explain the reasoning and story behind each of their themes. You can check out how to do this in my build with me video, where I showcase three different themes and how you can build one for yourself step by step. Next, let's check out the gamification leaderboard. Gamification is most effective with a social network, and our template enables you to play with your friends and family. Hold friendly competitions with people that care about you on personal improvements, and be the first to know when they accomplish wins in their lives and help each other out when you are stuck on your growth journey. You can choose to view this leaderboard in a traditional level up bar view, or in a more visual layout, it's completely up to you. We've included a success plan in the templates, which is essentially a task database on steroids. It helps you be intentional about the why, what, and how you're going to level up in the different areas of life that you want to improve in, and enables you to earn rewards as you accomplish wins, track deadlines and punctuality, and of course, track progress on your wins. This template also helps you build stronger habits by leveraging the concepts of scarcity, rewarding you for completing quests, and as a bonus, enables you to hold meaningful and detailed reflections you can look back on. I go in depth about all the hacks I use to help build strong habits in a dedicated video, so you can check that out after this one. We also have an enhanced version, thanks to our wonderful supporters, you can learn more about this at the end of the video, 
So let's talk about some of the amazing features that you can find there. So scrolling down, you can see that this template enables you to earn your leisure time. Whenever you complete a productive task that builds towards your success, you earn experience points and gold. If you've ever felt guilty for watching that extra 30 minutes of TV, you don't have to be guilty anymore. Legitimately earn gold to spend towards your unproductive moments and add any new leisure activities that you do. You can also use gamification to build consistency in your life by auto-earning achievements. Create badges to incentivize yourself to do the things that you're meant to do and track your progress to stay motivated during your day. We have some cool examples here to showcase what you can use badges for, like completing 4 goals in 2020, exercising 3 times a week, or being a Scrooge McDuck and hoarding 2000 gold. Lastly, we make sure you never quest alone. Always feel supported on your journey by earning party members as you participate in Coex 3 adventures. These companions give you limited time perks that boost your EXP or gold and motivates you to work extra hard during that time period on your success plan or habits. So what are Coex 3 adventures you might ask? Well, it's your ticket to a magical adventure of increased productivity. We designed world events to spur our community members to be highly motivated to personally develop ourselves, develop accountability, and collaborate to bring positive social impacts to our local and global communities. Coex3 community members can participate in three types of events, each with different rewards to be earned. We hold weekly council meetings on Sundays, where we ask each member to share how we can support their local war, what were their week's achievements, what didn't go as planned, and their reflections about that, and what they need help with specifically. We also have monthly campaigns, which aim to level us up as a community so that we can make sure we all succeed every month in achieving our goals. Finally, we have World Bosses, where we come together to create positive social impacts. You can learn more about these amazing initiatives over at coex3.family slash adventure. When you're done setting up your gamification project, this is how it will all work. Whenever you complete a goal, key results, or task in your success plan, you will earn the appropriate experience and gold rewards. For example, if I look at this task, which is indicated to be worth 200 gold, and then I mark it as complete after selecting the closing dates of today, and I change the status from in progress to complete, you can see the progress bar move from 22% to 45% and from 400 gold to 600 gold. Your rewards will also vary based on your punctuality, so be sure to complete your task on time. When you check off your daily quests as complete, you will also move up in experience like so, from 45 to 50%, from 50 to 55, and from 55 to 60%. Now, you will only earn gold when you complete 70% or 100% of all your daily quests as that's what the default milestones are set to. Let's see that in action. So right now my progress bar for today is at 65% and if I check one more box off I'll hit 70% which is the first milestone. So I check this off and you can see that immediately my gold jumps from 600 to 650 and now I have a checkbox representing that I have completed one milestone for today. During your adventure, you will automatically earn custom badges representing key achievements that matter to you. You can track your progress and stay highly motivated during your day. And after all your hard work, you can spend your gold on relaxing, non-productive activities guilt-free. Now that you have an understanding of what you can expect from the gamification project, let's get you started. Scroll down to the section, get started for free, and create a free Notion account if you have not done so already. Once that's done, navigate to this page as the instructions suggest 
and then press the duplicate button on the top right of your screen. This will duplicate a copy of the template package into your workspace so that you can get started on your gamification journey. If you're interested in starting with the enhanced version, you can find a few ways you can support us here, and after you do, you'll receive a link to this page where you can also press the duplicate button on the top right to copy the template into your workspace. Once the template is securely in your workspace, let's proceed to the next step. Scrolling down a bit, we find some instructions. We've done step one, so now let's follow step two, which says to click your user guide found inside player one. So let's go into player one, and let's click your user guide, which is a guided tour to help you set up your avatar and learn the basics of being intentional. For the enhanced version, if you also scroll down a bit, you'll also find similar instructions to get to your user guide. So let's click get started here and click documentation and then user onboarding documentation and then finally your user guide. So welcome to your user guide. This is a resource that has been meticulously compiled so that you can get started on your exciting gamification journey and understand the different parts of the system all in one page and have a quick and seamless onboarding experience. We start with initialization so you can personalize the system to your liking. You update your name everywhere you see the name your avatar or the initials YA. That will be 5 places in total. That's here, that's here, 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 and here. The next section is being intentional. Being intentional means always knowing the why, what, and how behind everything you do. It's a life framework that helps you achieve your goals and find more meaning in your life. We've included a basic version of our success plan and daily quests found in the template series to guide you on how you would gamify your life with any task database or habit tracker. So first, you're going to want to define the areas in your life that you want to excel in or what you want to be remembered for. In games, we call this concept the skill tree. Your strength, intelligence, dexterity essentially helps you orientate to what stats your character will have and continuously improve. You can change them by clicking on these columns here and renaming it to something that you care about personally. For me, these are the 9 areas of my life that I wish to be good at and continuously want to grow. For the areas you have defined, you want to set a few goals for every quarter. Let's first go through some of the examples that come with the templates to help you start thinking intentionally about your success plan and then we'll show you how you can add new ones for yourself. To fully understand this life framework, I highly recommend watching our video series on being intentional, but for a basic understanding, here are the key things to remember. Good goals should always answer why. For example, if you are working on any tasks relating to this goal, your why is because you want to get further in your career. When you complete a goal, that is a huge win in your success plan. Downstream of goals are key results. Good key results should answer what. What does it mean for you to get further in your career? What observable outcomes should be fulfilled? In this example, perhaps when you get promoted to a VP or receive a raise of $1,000, that's when you feel you have completed your goal. And when you achieve a key result, that is a big win. Downstream of key results are projects. Good projects answer how you are going to achieve your key results. What are the different experiments you will conduct to explore how to most effectively achieve results? In this example, perhaps you will embark on a project to stand out at work. A project is the sum of its downstream tasks. Each related task should be relevant towards the project you are working on and can be very granular or large depending on the way that you work. 
You should always try to break your work down into multiples of 5 or 25 minutes so that you take appropriate breaks to reflect on the work you've accomplished so far and make adjustments where necessary. Relating tags is extremely important because that is how the system will know how much EXP and gold to reward you for the wins you accomplished throughout the day. And when you're all done, the system will generate a quest list for you that makes it clear the difficulty and reward for the task, what you're trying to achieve, and why. To add new success plan items, you can use the templates we provided to save you time as it easily autofills many of the required properties for your convenience. Let me show you how it looks in the enhanced version, as we have a pro feature that automatically generates views for your upstream and downstream items inside the page itself. So whenever you add new content into these tables, the upstream and downstream relations will automatically be applied. So let's add a new example goal inside health. We'll click on new and then we'll type example goal. Now you see that currently it's a dream because there is no downstream key results that would indicate what it would mean for us to achieve the goal and thus it's not reliable that we would fulfill this goal at all. So currently it's still a dream. So let's open this up and then we'll see that it's still very empty. We're going to scroll down all the way and press new awesome goal. Once you press that, immediately you'll see that key results, the downstream of a goal is showed up. If we press new and type example key results, and let's now also do the same thing and click new awesome key results, and then you'll see that this key result has an example goal as it's upstream and there's currently no projects below it. Let's exit out of here for a second and see what we've done. Now we have an example goal that's currently in backlog and we also have an example key result. Now let's define this goal and key result further. If we open it up, we can see that the status is currently in backlog. I recommend changing it to ready to start whenever you have properly defined all the parameters of the goal, key results, projects, and tasks. You can also see a property for impact. This is for you to define how much impact you think accomplishing this goal will have on your life or on the upstream item. In this case, it is the area. Finally, we see that there's a property for tags and you want to make sure that it's relating to the rocket ship and your initials if it is a goal because that would indicate that it is a huge win. Once that's done, let's now define the key result. So we can open it up here and we can click example key result. And then we can see that similarly, it is in backlog it is a key result and the impact value is currently low. The interesting thing about a key result is that you can also set a target number. For example, if the key result had five things for you to accomplish, then you could put five and you can put your completed number to be zero and just keep counting up as you complete the item over time. This will automatically change the progression of your key result. For example, if we change this to a 2, you can see that we immediately jump to 40% completion. Let's change this back to a 0 and make sure that it's relating to big win with your initials. Finally, you want to also set a target date for your key result that is within the target date of your goal. So in this case, since it is a Q3 goal, then maybe you want to be finish this before the end of Q3. Let's just put July 1st as an example. Now, once this is done, let's exit out and scroll down. Now we are on step four. We want to define the projects. So let's expand this toggle and let's go to our example key results. 
Again, you can see that it is a dream because we haven't defined how we're going to achieve this key result. So let's open this up and let's do that. When we scroll down, because we use the template to generate these tables, we can also see that there is projects as the downstream. If we click new and we type in example project, then we can see a lot of the properties are auto-filled already. You can see that the status and the impacts is already auto-filled. Similar to before, you also want to set a deadline for your project to complete. In this case, let's also set this to the 1st of July. There is no tags here because as I mentioned before, a project is the sum of all its downstream tasks. So again, let's scroll all the way to the bottom and let's see new awesome project. Now we can add new task. So let's do that. Let's go here and click new and let's add example task A. And then we make sure to scroll down and click new awesome quest. And then let's also go back to the project. And again, let's go down to the bottom and click on new and add example task B. And then again, we're going to go down and click new awesome quest. Perfect. For this quest, you're going to want to also make sure that you have a target date. So for example, let's say by the end of this week, and you're going to want to make sure that your difficulty level and tags is relevant. For example, do we think that this task will take 25 minutes to do, or maybe it will take one hour to do and we'll click on two, or maybe it'll take two hours and it'll be a four. This is very easy to understand because all we're doing is just making sure that we're taking a five minute break every 25 minutes of work and we're keeping track of each chunk using the difficulty level. Once this is all done, we'll be able to see that when we scroll down, we have example task B and example task A showed up inside your quest list with its relevance gold and we can see that example task B is worth a lot more gold than A because it's taking a lot longer to do. Another thing you'll notice is that there's an indicator for it not having a target date. So that should prompt you to open it up and make sure that you add a target date so that you are punctual with completing your task on time. Once that's done, you can see that that's now updated here and it's automatically sorted based on the target date. For the free version, you can add new downstream items by simply going to downstream and you can click on the downstream property and then type the name of your downstream item and click create a new page. We've also included some awesome ways to view and manage your success plan. You can check that out in the command center for the free version and in core views in the enhanced version. Step six is defining your habits. This is where I apply my biggest secret to building strong habits by treating them as daily quests and leveraging scarcity. So in the daily quest below, you can change the name of the example habits that we've provided to meaningful options for yourself. For every habit checkbox, the formula in the multiplier property will automatically complete the percentage completion of your day. If you recorded what you ate for breakfast, for example, eggs and ham, or how much money you saved. So over here, we saved, let's say towards our category of travel, we have saved 50 bucks. Then we can see that our progress bar also moves. Each completed habit is rewarded as a 25 minute task and will count towards your experience points and gold accumulation. And lastly, Completing all reflection properties, which for me generally takes around half an hour, will count towards a 25 minute reward. 
You can also scroll to the bottom and click on daily reflection, which automatically generates a bunch of prompts to help you get through your day and be a little more intentional in all that you do. Once that's done, you'll be able to see your daily quest nicely presented inside your command center or in your core views depending on your version of the project. It's time to go through the finer details of gamification in our system. First, let's take a look at your leaderboard. Once you set up your task database and habit tracker, whenever you complete any task, key result, or goal in your success plan, as well as any daily quest, you will gain EXP, levels, and gold accordingly. And of course, the benefits of gamification are maximized with other players involved, and the beauty of this template is that you can play with your family, friends, and community, and I share a detailed video walkthrough on how you can do that here. Next, let's talk about managing your item shop. This is where you spend the gold you've earned on less productive tasks in your day, essentially rewarding you for completing your hard and more tedious tasks. You can add any rewards you like, their associated gold costs, and just make sure you set the holder to your name. So for this example, maybe you have a reward for 30 minutes of TV, maybe it costs you 30 gold, and you want to make sure that you're the one that gets to earn it if you have enough gold balance to purchase this item. Let's try purchasing it. So going to your daily quest, you would scroll down to reward purchased and click on 30 minutes of TV and immediately you can see on your item shop you spent it one time on June the 2nd and you spent 30 gold overall on this reward. At the same time your gold balance will also drop and you can see that inside your leaderboard if we scroll up and expand the leaderboard. You can see that your gold has gone down from 400 to 370. Next, let's talk about badges. With this template, you can earn achievements as you go through your day, and you can create any additional badges you want to incentivize yourself to do the things that you're meant to do. I have a full video tutorial that gives you an in-depth look on how to implement custom badges into your life. But to start, you can definitely explore our five example badges, which gives you a really comprehensive overview of what you can accomplish with this badge system. As mentioned earlier in this video, our community holds a variety of adventures that are designed to spur you to be highly motivated to pursue personal development and level up your skills. Whenever you join us on one of our adventures, you will get detailed instructions on how you can add heroes to your party to provide you with limited time special perks. Embark on your next adventure by joining our weekly council meetings, monthly campaigns, or fight a world boss together with the community. Find more details at coex3.family slash adventure. So how does this system calculate your rewards for achieving wins? This is handled by a very powerful calculations table which I call gamification tags. I won't go too deep into all the formulas in this video, but just know that you can customize the values to whatever you prefer. In this case, I demonstrate that it is very easy for you to change the base value of how much EXP or gold each win in your life should award you, and you can also decide if the win should award you gold or not. I generally don't award myself any gold for completing goals and key results, as the benefits should already be obvious upon completion. You can also change the threshold of what it takes for you to level up and also what it takes for you to prestige. Prestige is the concept of automatically resetting your level back to one after you reach a certain level. This is a remarkable and powerful concept. I strongly advocate for doing daily, weekly, quarterly, and yearly reflections to take stock of your life and plan out what you would do different in the following period of time to come. 
So if I determined that I should stop and reflect on my past whenever I hit level 50, or in this case, 25,000 experience, then when I hit level 50, I will be indicated as having one prestige and going back to level one. This gives me the visual indication to go and check all the things I've done to get to level 50 and if I would do it any other way. Think of this as living a second life if you will. Another interesting customization you can do is change the milestones for doing quests. So by default, I like to have a visual cue whenever I hit 70% of all the daily quests I do in a day, as well as make that the threshold for me to earn any gold at all. So what I do here is I have a formula that checks if at 70%, then I will give myself a check mark. Otherwise, it's going to be an alarm icon. So if you change a 70 to 50 or 60, then whenever you hit 50 or 60% of your daily quest, you will still get that check mark. Similarly, you can do the same thing here in difficulty number and change to 70 to 50, 60, whatever number you like, and slowly raise it back up as you gain confidence. Lastly, theming is so important because gamification is the most fun when you're fully immersed in your own fantasy world. As you can see, we have a theme library ranging from fantasy worlds to games to TV series. So pick and choose anyone you like and learn how other community members have gamified their setup so that you can build a system that is right for you. And it's extremely easy to make new themes if you have a base to start and learn from. So we've included a Pokemon theme below inside your vanilla core views. Let's take a quick look at that. So going to the core views, and if we scroll down a little bit, we can see that we have the Pokemon theme. I have a very comprehensive build with me video where I build this Pokemon theme from scratch. So I highly recommend you watch that because I also showcase two beautiful themes for you to learn from and get inspired by. So go check that out after this video. Once you successfully started gamifying your life, maximize its benefits by joining the CoEx3 community and post your weekly character progression in our leaderboard space. It's a space built for members who desire that extra bit of accountability, motivation, and congratulations from a supportive community. You can also support us by sharing about us on social media or contributing to our exciting roadmap. We have big plans for the gamification project. Now that we've successfully built a community around this exciting way of producing meaningful, productive work, we want to bring this to other communities as well. We have a huge goal of creating a global framework to easily plug into any existing productivity application in order to easily gamify any workspace, as long as you have a task database and habit tracker. Check out our roadmap to learn all about what's next in our pipeline and how you can contribute. This huge collaborative project just wouldn't be possible without the support of our amazing patrons. So a big thank you to our May patrons, especially our top supporters, Nikki Metzler, Courtney, Nicholas Patel, Tabatha Drum Dixon, Alex, Christopher, Cruz, Hate, Jason, Nick, Says, Tamir, Travis and all our amazing patrons this month. Your support means the world to us and keeps this project going. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more Happy Gamifying.